I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. Hello, my tribe. I'm here today with my new friend, Mitch V. Say hello, sweetie. Hello, everybody. She's an awesome chick, and she's got a great minivan that she's going to show us in just a few minutes. But first, would you tell us how long you've been living in your van? Absolutely. Um, so I started in May of two years ago, which I guess 2021. Um, so I got like two and a half years. Um, it's been a quite a ride, but it's, it's a pretty nice little van. I'm really stoked to show you guys. Yeah, that's great. What do you like about living in a van? I absolutely love the freedom it has given me to find myself where I don't have to worry um, about having to pay over a grand in rent. I can use that time that I would, you know, slave away to work right. to actually find my my soul calling, my soul purpose. It's a much it's more affordable way to live. Much more affordable. I mean, there are expenses, but it is definitely less hectic, less stressful than having to like slave away for a rent. Well, great. Well, let's have a look at your van. Absolutely. So would you like to tell us about your van? Absolutely. This is Tommy. Um, I don't know if he actually likes the name, but <laughs> we're vibing with that. So this is my 2007 Toyota Sienna. Sienna. How many miles were on it when you bought it? Um, when I got it, I had it with about 130 something miles and I've added about um, 30,000. Do you want my travels? That's really not high mileage, I think, for a, for a vehicle when you take care of it. Okay, so would you like to give us a little tour? Absolutely. You want to start with the front? Wherever you'd like to start. Totally. So this is the driver part. This is the vehicle section. Um, I have a dog, Kita. She sits here, has all her contraptions to keep her safe. We just got a little puppy who sits in the middle, also has her seatbelt. He's in the, in the ignition always because you never know when you need to run. Um, kind of like my basic, not too interesting storage, you know, just like uh, secondhand things. I need to go donate, laundry, the big water jug, um, crystal you... collection on the dashboard. <laughs> well, you have to have it. Absolutely. So would you tell us more about how you restrain your dogs when you're traveling? Because we were talking about that yesterday and you said they feel more secure, plus they're safer. Yes. Um, so I hooked on here, if you guys can see, um, carabiner with a little strap. And this one hooks onto my dog's harness, which is this one. So you just designed this system yourself? Yes. Okay. Um, my dog was having anxiety on the road, just like in the car, flopping around, getting hit on the dashboard. Right. And I can't have that happen. Right. And she can lean out the window. I'm not scared of her jumping out. I'm not scared of like, if I have to do those like super brakes for the exit, no issues. Right. Um, I have another little seat belt one that I found. This one is like a bungee seatbelt, a professional seatbelt for dogs. It hooks oh, okay. onto the seatbelt buckle. Where did you get that? At a thrift store. Of well, course. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure you could find it at PetSmart or something. Absolutely. Like that. Oh, they sell them Amazon, PetSmart, Petco, yeah. anywhere you want. Um, and it hooks onto the seatbelt, and you strap it how you feel, and then this hooks onto the harness of my new puppy, and then she stays put. I don't have to worry about her doing shenanigans and we're all set. That's a great system. Mm -hmm. So let's see uh, your main area. All right, so this is the home area. Um, these are my curtains that I made with like PVC pipe, just. That's oh, a great idea. Uh, most importantly, my build is a no build build. So none of this is pro uh, professionally installed. It's all bungees, zip ties, and just pressure of the whole mechanism together. So if I wanted to gut it out completely to sell it, no issues, like zero marks. So the curtain rod, first of all, is a PVC pipe that hooks onto the frame, onto the little plastic stuff. And I have my curtains. I have my welcome alien crew, because we are aliens here. Um, my beautiful little stove I got um, for fostering a dog. They gave it to me. And that one harnesses, it should be two uh, burners, but I insist on rock collecting. So it's just the one burner. Um, under the stove is my pantry. Above the stove are my seasonings and then my lighters. Um, I do have a little fridge I'm, I would love to show you guys. I'm not going to open it because it's all tucked away. It's a tiny little fridge right here that stores my basics. I don't eat too much meat, so all I really do is like butter and cheese. Some produce. Just some basic stuffs. I got like my snack packet where I can just like turn over when I'm driving. Snag an apple, snag a banana. My veggies up here so that I know when they're going bad or when they need to get eaten. Um, 
Well, this is great. So you collect rocks. I think you said you do jewelry <laughs> making too. I do. So you have lots of supplies for that. And that's I Mm -hmm. probably takes up a lot of room in your van it absolutely does but that's good for people to see like if you if you have a, a hobby a craft it takes a lot of supplies you can find room for it if you prioritize that absolutely yeah um, speaking of priorities so I did mention to you the other day that I had the two priorities which was a good place to eat big a uh, big thing and a good place to sleep also a big thing yeah so tell us about your bed so this beautiful bed i actually have the fortune to be exactly the width my height is exactly the width of the van so i'm able to stretch out sideways which i know a lot of people are not fortunate enough to have my right. height but thankfully um that and so there's a frame that wooden frame you definitely can't see it because it's like hidden under Buried. all this yeah um i was given an eight inch memory foam mattress that i cut to shit to size and tons of really cozy blankets that i have either been given or found at thrift stores you know just like the good old shopping and um so this is what keeps everything insulated and nice and warm um definitely in the winter uh with the window insulations and the, the the bed being on the upper part of the van right gets uh, you up off the floor it where it's keep, cold it keeps everything super warm and if it's really cold i'll make some hot cocoa or some tea on my stove and the heat will accumulate yeah, the in this section will, yeah absolutely Especially, you know one thing about having a small space is it doesn't take a lot of heat to get it warm exactly so you know balancing out maybe i can't stand up in my van but i also don't have to worry about freezing to death in here right well, this is a beautiful van. Thank you. Let's show them the other side. Oh, with my kitchen stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is my other side of the van. Both sides have screens that I installed so I can have these windows open. No mosquitoes, no bugs. It changes everything. So once we open this and open the curtain, I have, of course, crystal collections because, of course, but most importantly, I have all my kitchen items. They are not organized, so please do not think that this is that what That looks it really, really organized looks like. to me. Oh, thank you. And but, you oh. fit a whole lot of stuff into a small space. A lot of stuff. Which is really impressive. A lot of stuff definitely has to be dual um, use. Right. So, I don't know, like a board will be a table um, and all this section. The netting you, I got on Amazon, super easy. And a lot of my things are foldable, foldable strainers, tiny compact water bottles that fold up. I have everything I really need and I don't have to struggle or settle for using items that are not appropriate for what I really want them for. Um, yeah, if you're not organized, you can't have just a pile of stuff because you don't want to dig through it whenever you're looking for something. Exactly. Like, where is that? It's the bottom of the pile. Yeah, yeah. that's really inconvenient so, in a van. <laughs> This looks like maybe organized chaos. <laughs> That's the perfect term for it, organized chaos. But it, honestly, your van is super organized. I think it's really great. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It has been a trial and error process throughout the two and a half years I've had it. Um, it did not start off like this. It was absolutely organized, disorganized chaos back then boxes everywhere and then i realized that boxes are not the way to go in a minivan you want to hang things boxes. use vertical space use ceiling space and bags bags are the way to go little tiny bags big bags whatever you want you That's change great. your perception your, your your way of living from like cabinets and squares and like furniture to things that have dual use and are much more smaller and compact well that is lily that's our new addition <laughs> She, um, they said she's she not was, cute at all. <laughs> she's, they said she was too. I highly doubt that. Very grateful. She loves her new life, makes tons of friends. Don't you think nomad dogs have the best lives? They do, they do. I agree. And this is Kita. <laughs> this is the reason I made the van. I built the van. Um, again, with the whole Bloody. rent situation, <laughs> this is buddy. The whole rent situation was kind of getting to me where I had to work too many hours. And you know, we have dogs for a certain, like for one decade. Right. I really didn't want to waste her decade of life with me working to just afford a so place. I got the van, I bought it, and I built it out for her pretty much. And she knows it's her van. She, it's her safe space. The bed is her safe space. What a good baby. What a pretty baby. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. What would you say to someone who's thinking about doing this, but they think they can't afford it? You totally can. If you can buy a van for $800 
you can build it out with recycled material. And you, you don't need a professional build out. Like you just, this, all this stuff is off the shelf. Off the shelf. I did have help building the, the bed frame because I had a friend who offered to do it professionally and he's a carpenter. So I said, sure, why not? But everything else has been built kind of DIY. Well, thank you so much for showing us your van. Absolutely, anytime. <laughs> Bye. Bye guys.